Hey there guys, I'm Nico Sanchez and welcome to episode 77 of Logo Reviews, where today it's all about a science fiction channel that's out of this world. Ooh, it's so revolutionary, I can't even stand it, but boy, we're gonna get right into it today. So buckle up my friends, it's gonna be a wild and a crazy ride that you do not want to miss. So come on board and we're gonna show you the stars together with episode 77, where today is about sci-fi. So much to say, we're gonna get into this and discuss what we could do together in the world of science fiction. For those who have seen episode 76, yesterday we did take a look at USA Network to kick off season four. So if you want to go, if you want to go check it out, I'll put me into the video up there on the top right corner screen. So please click on the link up above, catch it anytime you want. How everyone, how everybody could do so. So anyway, with all that said, guys, let's jump right in. But before we do, if you just are taking a little peek, when it goes everywhere, where your are seeing, there's not a lot to meet or to anybody else or whatever that. Good. With all that said, let's get started. Here at the show, by the way, who don't know what sci-fi is. Sci-Fi, formerly known as Sci-Fi Channel, later shortened to Sci-Fi, signed as Sci-Fi, is an American basic cable channel owned by, M by the NBC Universal Television and Streaming Division of Comcast's NBC Universal through NBC Universal Cable Entertainment. Launched on September 24, 1992, the channel broadcasts a, a broadcast programming related to the science fiction, horror, and fantasy genres. As of January 2016, Sci-Fi is available to 92.4 million households in America. Oh boy, my friends, we are going to get into it today. As we take a look at stats here, Johnny M. Sci Fi, John Science Fiction, launched since 2024, 1992. Owner is NBC Universal Television and Streaming. Headquarters are the Comcast Building, New York City, New York, U.S. Their slogan is, It's a Fan Thing. I love it. You know that's a fan thing. Website is www.scifi.com. The link will be in the description down below. Go check it out right now. Otherwise, let's take a look. At, uh, let's get into the review. But before we do that, let's take a look at Sci Fi's logos over the years, plus everything else, all the facts that you didn't know about Sci Fi. Enjoy. Okay, you saw the logo history and everything else you didn't know about sci-fi. Let's review the current sci-fi logo. So this logo has been used since 2017, and they're still using it to this very day for five years straight. We just have the word sci-fi in black, and that's all I gotta say. Very good logo, but a very achievable, and so much, so much high and unattainable. It's more powerful than I ever thought possible, and I typically, typically love this logo. No matter what, it, it's got the perfect texture, the perfect size. I really, really love this logo. How about you? I didn't think so too, but yes, that's all I gotta say about sci-fi, so let's take a look at the final answer for the sci-fi logo. So yes, sci-fi is a great TV channel, it's got lots of science fiction, lots of fantasy, and lots of horror, but sometimes you just gotta believe in yourself and imagine what the world might take you. So the possibilities are endless. What are, where are you gonna see? Where are you going to? Only time will tell. But at the end of the day, I'm giving the sci-fi logo a perfect score of 10 out of 10. Yay! Perfect score! Yeah! Just like the USA Network logo, it's all about love, compassion, and respect. I gotta say, this sci-fi logo definitely deserves the love for me. So well done, sci-fi. You totally deserved it. And with that, it's just my personal and conservative opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree with any thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. With all that said, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching another episode of Local Reviews. Hope you all enjoyed it. <sighs> Can't wait for the next episode of Lower History coming soon. We'll be taking a look at League of the Capionis for Movie Star Plus Plus. And it's been one month since our since the premiere of season two of the Endless Monster Show. We will change that very, very soon. As well as season two, day seven of the Motion Fashion League. It's, it's gonna mm, it'll be winging up right before you know it. So be on the lookout for that as well. For the rest of the schedule, please check some other cool videos on the show. Otherwise, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Miguel Sanchez. You're real soft. See you next time on Local Reviews. Tune in next time for episode 78. We'll be taking a look at Bravo. That's right, my friends. Bravo is on the next episode. We got some, we got some, we got some uh, reality TV to take a look at next time. So get your chalks in the chat on. We're gonna be seeing you next time for episode seventy eight. This one will be about Bravo. So don't miss it. Otherwise, if you wanna go catch our past episodes, we've got a playlist for you. I'll put a link to it up there at the top right corner of the screen. So please click on the link up above. Catch it anytime you want. How you want? I had everybody go check it out. For now, though, everybody must go to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to, 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 to never miss a new video. Please subscribe to the notifications to never miss a new video for me. That's what I wrote to do to two thousand two hundred swipers. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. And I'll look forward to your company again next time on local reviews. I'm gonna say. Just like, oh, like, fair, subscribe. Thanks again. I'll see you in another video. Laters.